Think I killed Gary? Did you? Oh, I'll choose violence every day. He is. My friends are incapable of murder. They're my family. I would do anything for them. Even kill? Everyone is dying to know. Got anything you want to get off your chest? Who did it? Gary's got a lot of enemies. Could be anybody. I don't know what to believe. None of us did it. Right? Sisters, new season. Okay guys, so that is the trailer, the mini trailer for Sisters Season 8. Uh, so let me just get started with this and try to make this quick because I have another video that I, another breakdown, a second part of this video coming up next. So let me just start off with the ladies. Now, um, as far as the ladies go, I'm going to exclude the ladies from this whole thing. Now, I'm questioning... Um, Andy, though, because at the end of season seven, when she finds Gary, it just seems so fake to me. Seems her reaction seemed very fake. And if you notice, she looks at the door um, behind uh, where it was another door in that room. And it looks like she looks over there and she may see somebody there. But now she's pretending like she doesn't see them and like she's just finding Gary and, you know, oh, my God. So I'm going to exclude Sabrina, Danny, and Sabrina and Danny and Fatima because I don't think that they had anything to do with it. Andy is still questionable for me. I don't, I don't know. For some reason, uh, it just seemed fake at the end with her. Now, or Andy definitely know who did do it. So moving along, I want to go now to... Um, Let's say, uh, let's go to Hayden. Hayden is the obvious because he was so very upset about the Tamara and finding out he was sleeping with his wife and everything. So Hayden could have went because remember, guys, Hayden did have the address because Gary gave it to him. So we don't know what happened in the in between the of these stories. Right. We don't these scenes. Right. Because we went we was jumping from one thing to the next in the last episode without a middle part, right? So we don't know if Fatima and them got there. We don't know what Hayden did after he left out of the uh, garage. We don't know what the ladies did when they left Andy to go, I'm assuming they were going to find, try to find Gary, right? And they left Andy with Jordan, I'm sorry. So now um, Hayden is a definite uh, suspect um, to this whole case. I think that we move along to Zach and Fatima. Zach and Fatima left out together. So we don't know what happened when they left out. We don't know if Zach went over there and told Fatima not to come. We don't know if Fatima went and Zach did something else. We don't know those middle parts. So hopefully for season eight, we will get to see what they actually did before they got there or during the time that Andy was getting med ready to marry Gary, right? So we need those in-between parts. We we need to see what the ladies did when they left out, after they left her with Jordan. We need to see what Zach and Fatima did. We need to see what Hayden did. We also need to see what Tamara did because Tamara could have found out about where it was through Hayden. The wedding was through Hayden. So we have to find that out through season eight hopefully the writers have enough sense to say let's add this in there because everybody is lost like wait did Zach and them get there did um the girls where did the girls go when they left where did his um assistant go or his partner go I forgot the henchman or whatever his name is the white guy with the long hair um I I mean with the slick back here or whatever you guys know what I'm talking about we don't know what he did when he said he was going to find Gary. So we have uh, Miss Marie also, who we don't know exactly what he, she did because she told Andy she would handle it. So does Miss Marie know Madam? Is that why when Fatima called Madam, could Miss Marie have been talking to her? That's why she couldn't help Fatima, but in a way she was helping Fatima. I'm not sure. I don't that I don't think that Madam sends her peoples because the job definitely would have been done if she sends her peoples. And I don't again think Gary is dead. So I think he may be after somebody attempts to, you know, a second attempt on trying to unalive him. Let's just say that. So um 
If I had to say Penelope, I'm not sure about Penelope because the only way she would have been able to find out would have been through Andy or Jordan where this location was at. So I don't know. Jordan could have spoken to Penelope and told her and maybe Penelope got there ahead of time. So I could see that. I could see it going back where we see that part where maybe Penelope finally calls Jordan and tells Jordan, you know, oh, you know, I'm sorry about everything. And then maybe Jordan tells her, well, I'm going to stop the the wedding. And she's probably like, yeah, you should go. But meanwhile, she may have had the address and, or, and went and, and handled the whole thing with Gary. Because as you see, Gary's on the floor without his jacket on. So why would his jacket be off when we, we seen when him and Andy were talking, he was already suited and booted. <laughs> So uh, for some reason, he felt comfortable enough with whoever did it to take off his jacket. So now we move along to who else might be a part of it. We know Karen. Karen is pregnant. Karen is not stabbing anybody. So that's out of the question. Um, You have the henchman. You have Gary's partner. He could have done it because for some reason, him and Ethan, they gave me this it was a scene and I think it was season well the last season season 7b I think it was episode 20 episode 20 the way that they were looking at Gary made me feel like they wasn't really good friends with him like they were it did seem like a setup to me I don't know um but um it could have been any of those two men so um my suspects would be either Miss Marie had it handled for her I know definitely, maybe, okay, not I know definitely, but maybe Andy knows exactly who did it. It could have definitely been Jordan. Um, I, maybe Penelope. Um, so those four, I don't think it was any of the main characters, though. Um, because how would that, how would that work out on the show? I don't know if the writers would do that. Um Only if Gary is not dead, I can see it being one of the main characters. But if Gary is dead, I don't see it being one of the main characters. So stay tuned for my second part of Season 8 Trailer Breakdown. Now, the second breakdown will just be about, it seems like it'll be a second attempt on unalive and Gary so I don't think he's dead so my second video will my second video will be based review will be based off of that stay tuned guys and subscribe and like